Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I know a lot of you've been asking if I'm gonna start vlogging about the pregnancy. And today I am clearing out the closet in the room to get ready for her to come. Honestly, I ain't ready. Um, I just don't even know what I'm doing at this point. So I need all my new mommies tips at the bottom because I ain't had a baby in 15 years. So who is lost? It's me. But anyways, let's get to it. Let me show y'all how this closet look. So y'all, this is the closet. When I say it's a whole bunch of nothing in here, a whole bunch of wedding stuff, a whole bunch of clothes I don't wear anymore. Yeah, it's not that bad, but I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? Because at this point, I don't have no room in this house. So I got some boxes, well, not boxes, some trash bags. Just in case, might just have to have there and put the stuff in the storage. Because at this point, baby girl needs somewhere for her clothes to go. And honestly, right now, we um my brother-in-law stays with us. So he's in the room that she will be in. So my office room, I have to kind of turn it into like her little room temporarily until he leaves and so with that being said i have to clear out the closet so i can put her clothes and pampers and everything we get from the baby shower in the closet pretty much like for the first let's say six months to eight months she'll be in the room with us in her little bassinet and then hopefully you know my brother-in-law has found him a place and we can get her room ready so yeah so y'all, this was my reception dress, not dress, my reception um, pantsuit. I really don't see no need to keep it anymore. I'm not going to wear it, but still, I just like to hold on to stuff, you know? Hmm. Then this here is the wedding planning book that I got from my mother-in-law. I was able to like plan my wedding through here like this really helped me out a lot to plan my wedding so this type of stuff i'm gonna put in the storage because i just want to keep this you know baby girl probably want to see all of this stuff when she get older you know just something to keep like a little keepsake so i'm putting this over here what else we got oh this is where i had my wedding at firefly gardens all the little stuff in here, how much we paid, which was a lot, the grip. I don't know if I need to keep that. I don't need no memories of how much money I paid. And then this here was another wedding planning book, which, I mean, I don't see no point of keeping this, honestly. I was just buying stuff just because I was excited to get married, so whatever. This here is where we had our guests sign when they came in, y'all. This is so cute. It was like the little hearts. We had them laid out. And they'll write their name on there, write like a little cute message, and they'll drop it on the inside of here. And am I supposed to hang it up? But where am I going to hang it up at? Just be buying stuff. I mean, it's a cute little keepsake. Of course, I'm keeping this, and I just have to put this in storage. But yeah. And what's crazy, y'all, is that I have not even read these. This is the box that the little hearts came in. Darren and Whitney, September 23rd, 2022. How cute is that? And then please sign, drop it in the frame so we will never forget our loved ones who came. How cute! I didn't even know it said that. It rhymed. <sighs> if spending money was a person, it'll be me. Because I just be spending money. But these are the little hearts, y'all. And it came with the little wooden pins. And I got this from Etsy if somebody wants to know. I will try to drop links and stuff because, I mean, I have a lot of cute stuff in here. But like I said, we have to make room for baby girl because it's just getting tight in here. These are just like some of the access roses. Um, I do have a flower wall business that I started, got pregnant. It's a thing of the past now. They're in storage. I mean, everything at this point is in storage or going to storage. This is the old comforter that we were using. We just got a new comforter. 
Like I said, I don't know why I hang on to stuff. Like, who spends the night to even use the comforter? So, y'all, yeah, this is, like, different stuff for the flower wall. This is, like, a little cute little happy birthday neon light type situation. Then I had, like, some little hooks that I was using to hook them on. What else I got? Oh, that's a part of using for my baby shower. This one says, oh, baby. How cute, y'all. Okay, see, I got something that come in handy. That one says, oh, baby. And then this one is a 9 to 3 events is the name of our business for the flower wall. If you get it, 9 to 3 is the date we got married. Events. See, I'm a little creative when I want to be. But to get me going, to keep me going on businesses, I start them and I stop them. Storage. Well, not the old baby. I need to put that one to the side. Okay, these are just little flowers for the different flower walls that we have. Like I said, all this stuff can go in storage. Yeah. So, once again, being a hoarder, keeping stuff that I don't need. This is a brand deal I did with Timo. Like different lipsticks, makeup, little makeup brushes, some eyelashes. I need to get this stuff away, y'all. So, I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. I mean, if you pay shipping, I'll send it to you. <laughs> this was our broom that we jumped over. My best friend, which is my matron of honor, she made this. Like, she did an amazing job. Like, she did my bridal shower. Um, helped out a lot with the wedding. Like, I'm so blessed to have her. But this is so cute. So, of course, I'm going to have to put this in storage. I'm going to have to put, like, in a black marker, like, the date with our name and everything like that. Hmm. This was all the cards we got. Um, I mixed them in, but we had this at the wedding. Um, everyone dropped the cards in here. And then also I just put all the other cards. Like my mother, she likes to give cards for holidays. Uh, family give cards for holidays. So I just dropped them all in here just to have like a little keepsake box. So, you know, one day I just want to look back and see who was nice enough to give us a card or give me a card. Oh, y'all. These are memories. Um, I used to be a majorette in elementary school all the way up into um, high school. Um, it was a passion of mine, but it wasn't nothing that I could do in college. So, I kind of stopped my junior year, got a job at Party City. And just left this in the past. Um, I have my coach. She's always asking me since I'm having a girl. Am I going to show her how to twirl? And I mean, yeah, it'd be a little something. You know, a little, little something. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, see, I'm a little dusty. I'll show her, but she probably going to be like, Mama, I don't want to do that. So, whatever. This here, oh my God. Once again, me just hoarding stuff. So I started working from home like a year and a half ago. And I didn't need work clothes anymore. But I didn't want to get rid of them because, I mean, you know, things happen. I might have to go back into the office. So I don't know. See? Oh, it's so hard getting rid of stuff. This here is part of my business i do sell hair growth oil i do a lot y'all i have a flower oil business a social media influencer hair growth oil i just do a lot but these are the shirts to keep up with the length of your hair i thought these is really cute reproducts is the name um it's a long story on reproducts i had a sister her name was sheree 
She passed away going on seven years this year, and I decided to make this business in remembrance of her. So I named it Reproducts because she used to do natural hair. And I just wanted something to like remind me of her. But anyways, y'all, these shirts are on my website for cheap because I really don't be promoting the website. I got so much going on. So y'all, and I'm out of breath. Whew. Ooh, I'm tired, child. What else is this? Some more junk that I'm just keeping. Oh, my God. So, y'all, when I was doing reproducts, I tried to do like a, uh, what is it? Face wash, um, face cream, all that type of stuff. I tried to add that in, but I got overwhelmed. It was up for a minute. People was actually buying it. But I had to stop because I be doing too much. But I still got bottles. Why? I don't even do the business no more. Like, girl. Ooh, child. If Horta was a person, it'll be me at this point. What is this? Y'all, I got a rug in here that I don't want. It didn't match. And instead of taking it back to the store, because the receipt is right here. Instead of taking it back, I just put it in the closet. This here is just some luggage. I ain't going nowhere for a long time. Gonna have a new child. Who going somewhere? Not us. <laughs> Another bag of clothes I don't wear. <sighs> this is cute. Um... I think we, I won this at an event and I just never, I think it was like a Christmas last year and don't know where to put it. So of course, put it in the closet. I might put it on a wall somewhere in here just to get this room a little decor because this room is so plain. There's nothing going on in here, but Darren and I, we have our office set up in here. Um... This is where I do my orders for the hair growth oil when people do order. And that's about it. Y'all, I still have these. This is um everyone that uh oh took uh, everyone that came to the wedding, the tables they sit at. I made this. I got the template off of Etsy and then I got this printed at um Office Depot staples one of them but it was just so cute i didn't want to get rid of it hmm. then this came from my bridal shower our hashtag name was league of their owens and my theme was like lemons she found her main squeeze that was cute wasn't it Oh, and then I also got this one made. I did this one. I got the template off of Etsy. Um, this was Welcome to the Wedding of Whitney and Darren, Legal and Orange, 92322. Ain't that cute? See, who would want to get rid of this type of stuff? See, that's why I need a big house with like five bedrooms so I could just have a room with all of my stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Oh my gosh, y'all. Me and Damon, we used to do like skits like we were old people. <laughs> and I had like a little, well, I got this little wig and he had like a mustache and then a little old robe. <sighs> we used to have fun, y'all. We still do, but we just don't be having time to record this type of stuff no more. But I'm going to keep it because you never know. Oh my God. So, y'all, this is a dress that I thought I was going to wear to my reception. I mean, just buying stuff for no reason. Couldn't take it back. I thought that was so cute. I just need to sell it. I just be wasting money. This is brand new. Still got the tags on here. Oh, I just saved it for my baby girl. See, there I go. Oh, Lord. This was going to be another reception outfit but it ended up being too small i got it from fashion nova um it done got dirty like it's been worn it was a cute little pants set 
but it was just too small and that day was just like so frantic for me because nothing was going right nothing this is my wedding dress honestly i might just scoot this to the back of the closet um yeah i'm not gonna sell it or anything i'm just gonna keep it i'm gonna just want to be something that i can keep in remembrance because everything else can be sold or given away but my wedding dress um yeah i feel like i should keep it but then again i might change my mind i don't know oh and i told y'all it's a major red diamond diva 2004-2005 see this type of stuff i gotta keep then this was my senior little glass, one of our little gifts we got. I graduated in 2007. Not gonna tell y'all my age. Y'all can kind of figure it out. No, I'm not a cougar. That ain't considered old. I'm still young, boo. Oh, So I'm not the only one that kept little stuff like this. It was like a box of like all my senior stuff. Not even senior stuff, all my high school stuff, y'all. Report cards. Let me see what kind of report card I had. Let's see. Okay, I was on a B on the roll. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all don't need to know what it is. <laughs> then my little cap. Oh, what is this? More majorette pictures. This is me right here, y'all. And yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. Letters. Y'all remember the letters that be like the name of the song, mood, word, all that type of stuff. That's what all these letters look like. Girl, I got an old little lollipop in here from 2005. I got medals. I, your girl ran track. Yeah, I ran track. I was slow as hell, but I ran track. What I got in here? See? Uh-uh. Y'all can't see me. Girl, where was you going with these eyes? Look at me. Girl, I wouldn't even think Darren seen none of this stuff, y'all. I need to hide this from him. Girl, then I had the braces. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. Okay, this is enough. I'm going to have to go through this when I get out the camera because, please, what does the poor car look like? Oh, my grades are trash. When I be trying to tell Ramaj, he need to be the best that he could be. Girl! <laughs> this is a bear. I think Darren gave me this. I mean, who else? Oh, so cute and cuddly. I'm going to get this to our little girl. So, I'm going to keep this up here. All right, y'all. So, that is it. I done cleared out the whole closet. Like I said, I was leaving my wedding dress in there. And that wasn't long at all. Maybe like 30 minutes. 30 minutes to take everything out. But now it's going to be, where am I putting all this stuff? I'll let my husband figure that out. <laughs> but anyways, on the next vlog, whenever that may be, I will show y'all what we do with the closet. You know, how I set up baby girl stuff. Uh, when I put the clothes and stuff up. Just all that little cute little stuff. I know a lot of y'all really want to see this process. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not like all them other baby mamas y'all be seeing. They be having everything in line and order. They be just having everything so cute. And not I. Because I don't know what's going on. Hey y'all, thank y'all for kicking it with your girl. I'm about to go give me something to eat because I am hungry. Do you know what got me in a chokehold right now? Those Popeye's ghost wings. Oh my God, choke, hold. The barbecue wants to be exact with some ranch. Woohoo, I'm about to smash. I'm about to smash. I would bring y'all with me, but your girl is hungry. I'm trying to eat in peace. I tried them out last night. I usually get the regular ghost pepper wings, but I got the ones with the barbecue and it was 12, but they were wanting one. And guess what? I ate all 11 of them in less than 10 minutes. Good it. G-O-O-D-T.
But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go smash this out because I am hungry. So yeah, thank y'all for chilling with me and watching me do nothing. Till next time.